guys, uh, Dylan Bradley here, and I have an awesome little quick tip tutorial that you're going to love. And uh, so I was, I was going around, and I've seen this. If you, if you know funnels and, or anything like that, you've seen, uh, this is a guy named Steven Larson. So he's big in ClickFunnels. Uh, guy's very successful. <clears throat> but you might have seen things like this, right? The uh, uh, like, share button. And one of the awesome things with online is the social proof you can get. So doing advertising, building your business on Facebook, you can get a lot of social proof. So I'm gonna actually show you how to add this button, right? This kind of like share button to your ClickFunnels page. Uh, it's really simple. You can do it in like less than five minutes. Um, so yeah, and what this should do with the social proof is this should help increase your conversions by showing other people that like your page. So if someone comes here, they're not familiar with you. They see that 3.2 3 thousand people have liked his page. So uh, let's get into this. So it's pretty simple. The first step you want to do is obviously you need to have ClickFunnels. So if you don't have ClickFunnels, you can go over and get ClickFunnels. You can check the link below uh, for that. But uh, this is actually uh, a funnel I have open in the editor. So I'm going to be showing you how to do it in here. So uh, this is what the end product will look like. So this is mine. All right. So here's what you're going to do. First thing you want to do is go to developers.facebook.com backslash quick starts. Really simple. You can copy the link developers.facebook.com backslash quick starts. And Facebook changes. So depending on when you're watching this, this may look a little bit different, but you want to go to website. So you see all these different things here. Let's click on www. Okay. And if you're already logged into Facebook, so this is one thing you want to be logged into Facebook and have an app set up that's connected to one of your page. And that's a little more complicated. So I might make another video on that, but that's what you want to have. Right. And so mine's already queued up. So an existing app, but if you don't have an existing app, it probably will let you the tutorial, the thing will probably let you create one. However, I'm going to select Dylan and Bradley. Okay. Then there's all this stuff. I don't even know what this stuff means. <laughs> right. The thing you want to do is go to and tell us about your website. Let's so just put in a website URL, the one you're going to be using. Right. Oh, <laughs> stop that. I got cauliflower in the oven. It's really good. Big cauliflower. So go to next, right? I put Dylan and Bradley .com, right? And it takes you to this. So now we have next steps. So all you're going to do is put, click on social plugins. So I'm going quickly through this. You're going to see all this stuff. What you want to click here is you can do comments and all that kind of stuff, save, but we're going to focus for this one, right? On like, share, send quotes, social made simple, right? Just click overview here. Now, we want to get likes anywhere. This is the one we want. You have let people share. We want to get likes. So we're just going to go and click on docs, right? So really simple. All you're going to do is this is what it looks like. All you're going to do is go to your Facebook. So I'm going to go here to Facebook, Facebook. I'm going to go to my page, right? So I have a shortcut here to my page. Uh, I'm going to go highlight this URL. So if you see here, I have the URL. Uh, it, this one has a reference bookmarks. I don't need I don't need that there, just the base URL. So it should be facebook.com backslash whatever your page, if you have a name or a number, just copy that URL. So control C or command C, it'll copy it. Then you're gonna go back to the page. So we're right here. All you're gonna do is highlight the URL to like and paste your, your thing in there. And when you click, you'll see a preview right here. Really, really simple. So this this is the button, all right? And you can make it bigger if you like, large. Again, you can see the preview. You can maybe change the, the, the layout so you can do standard box count and you just see how it all, it looks, right? Uh, button, but I wanna do standard because that looks the best. Uh, you can change the action, like or recommend, right? So you can do whatever you want. Um, you can show, you see, you can just check these boxes. Super simple. Next thing you're gonna do is just click on get code. And I just did iframe. So make sure that all those things are in place. I did iframe. I don't really know what this means. I'm not a developer, but I know this works. So if I'm not a developer, I can do this. You can do this. Just copy all this stuff. Really simple. Then you're gonna go into your page. So this is what it looks like afterwards, but you're gonna go into your editor. And I'm just gonna delete this right here, just so I can show you the process. So this is my page and wherever you want the button added, here's what you're gonna do. You just go to the added element, you know, this orange button. So I'm gonna put it right here. And you're gonna go to MISC, miscellaneous, custom JavaScript and HTML. And that puts this box here. I'm gonna click on this, open the code editor, and I'm just gonna hit 
Control V, or it's paste. So Command V on Mac, Control V on Windows, and it pastes just that exact code. I didn't make any changes. Really simple. Okay. Uh, hit save. It's saved. And I'm just going to hit preview. So let's cross our fingers, see if it works. And boom, it's right there. It's on the page. And so you can put this anywhere that you want. Um, and this pops up. So this adds social proof to your page. And obviously, this isn't a, a fitness page or anything like that. But uh, this adds social proof to your page. You can use it for your clients. And it's something you can test. Obviously, with marketing, you want to make sure you test and see if, if something you do increases your conversions or decreases the conversions. My hypothesis is this will increase the conversions because the social proof, that element to it. Uh, so people see, they come to my page, like, who's this Dylan guy? And they'll see, hey, 9.9 uh, thousand other people like his uh, page. So maybe I should pay attention. Okay. So it's not just some no name person. And that adds credibility and all that good stuff gets into the psychology, whatever. That's another, a whole other training. But this is how you add this simply to your page. So if you were like me and you've been like trying to figure out how to do this, this is how you do it. Okay. Hopefully you enjoy. Leave comments below if this was helpful. And uh, yeah, if you want to learn more, you can click the link. I have some awesome trainings for you there. Okay. Have a great one. Peace and good luck with your conversions. All right. Bye.